Greetings, beloved goddesses. I am the one that has been named in the name of Ra. I come to you to have you understand what it is to balance the forces of the masculine and the feminine within you. Every being has been given aspect of them that has masculine dynamics, that has feminine dynamics. And you come together and not a single one of you is in balance. You have points of strengths, you have points of what you would call weaknesses, shall we say. And all you are ever meant to do through all of it is continue to allow the waves to balance. The masculine is a force that moves towards the feminine, always looking and always seeking how they can connect. The masculine finds the feminine fascinating, enthralling. There is a hunger and a desire for the feminine that exists within the masculine. When this hunger is satiated, when it becomes in balance through a union of the two, there is a third aspect that is created. There is a way that the two come together and create a third. Many times it is in the form of children. Many times it is in the form of one plus one equaling three. While you have been told your entire existence that one plus one equals two, understand that what happens when you bring forth the masculine even within a feminine body is you are bringing balance. If there is what is considered to be a wounding within masculine dynamic, it will begin to consume the feminine. It is hungry for something that it feels and it believes that it is missing. So how you would ask, would you allow yourself to have balance within that masculine? You will address within you where it is that the masculine has fallen out of grace. There is a desire within you to know things. Does this come from wisdom or does this come for a seeking of power to use? There is a place within truth that there is no longer a yearning for something externally because everything exists within. When one goes in search of the light, that search for the light comes from a place of darkness that is looking for the light to fill it, to heal it, to consume it. Yet when one rests within the light, it does not have concern for the darkness. The feminine dynamic exists within the dark, the masculine dynamic exists within the light. This is why the light is known as Father God. The sun of itself does not have light. When you think of a child in a womb, it is in a place of darkness. And yet there is light within. What you are asked to do, beloveds, within your feminine is to find the light in the darkness. And this is done through a balancing of masculine polarities. Allow yourself to have your connection with your goddesses. Also beloveds, it is as important for you to have a balance of connection with the masculine, with the gods. The angelic realm is filled with these divine feminine beings. You look upon the archangels and what you see are manifestations of the masculine. Beloved, they carry neither signature, they carry both. 
Yet in this realm of duality, there is a place where you are taught that there are rules and laws of how a man is to behave. There are rules and laws of how a woman is to behave. There is much confusion because no, no one, none of you come in balance. The way to have balance, beloveds, is for you to come and to embrace all, to reject none. And how is that accomplished? Through allowing yourselves to see everything through eyes of love and neutrality. Yet how is that done when you have judgments about every single topic that you can think of? Seek assistance in all that you do. Come to something and say, I do not know what this is for. I do not know who this is. I do not know the path that I must take and allow yourself to surrender into the guidance it comes from both the feminine wisdom and the masculine wisdom. If you seek only one pathway with only one guide, you will be led in one direction. In order for you to have balance for yourselves, beloved, you must ask both. Do you understand? There, there are internal guidance systems that would allow you to strengthen one while weakening another. Allow yourselves instead, beloveds, to strengthen both simultaneously. You have levels of consciousness where you have this mastery. We are here to remind you of what it is to know and to remember. Beloveds, please understand that this phrase of remembering is a place of allowing yourselves to come back together to heal where you have fractured yourselves. You have said, I will allow myself to go in many directions at once. Imagine a man tied to the ground with four horses and all horses are whipped at the same time and his limbs are torn asunder from his torso. This is what you have done to yourselves. And it is time for the reassembly. It is time to stop torturing yourselves. It is time to stop shaming yourselves. It is time to stop grieving. It is time to stop blaming. It is time for you to come back into union. And that union is done through the balance of the two. Beloveds, we would open the floor to have you ask any questions that you may have of how this is accomplished. Understand there must be a concept of that there is wholeness that already exists. From there, the path becomes illuminated. But do you look upon yourselves as being of wholeness? Or do you look upon yourselves as unworthy? Do you look upon yourselves as wounded? Do you look upon yourselves and see the places that the holes must be filled rather than understand that you are coming from having everything that you need? Indeed. Indeed, beloved polarity exists within this dimension, but when you supersede this, there is not the polarity. Angels and archangels and all the choirs of angels do not exist as a masculine or feminine principle. There is not polarity. When you come into these dimensions, how the polarity is balanced is by looking at the polarities as a whole. And it is contrary to everything that you have been taught. How can you see two poles as one? You must allow yourself to mm, seemingly zoom out to be able to see the greater whole. And then you do not see the disparate parts. Do you understand? 
the two do a dance together. Much like the spiraling of what you consider the DNA strands, hmm, beloveds, you each have the opportunity to have all of your strands of DNA be activated. That is a conversation for another day and another time. You have all agreed to come in and have these parts that are seemingly broken, but understand that your journeys are for you to weave them back together into a whole, like a basket or a tapestry. It is not to admonish one beloved. It is not to say that one is better than the other. It is not the burning of the bras and the getting the right to vote. It is a place of allowing peace to become between warring nations, of healing the great divide by recognizing that there was no division in the first place. Does this answer? Just a moment here. It just makes me think that I have heard that in this earth there's been a push towards the masculine the wounded masculine and not divine masculine and there's this energy of the feminine rising and that could be reason to picture balance and it feels like the, there's this feminine rising and not the feminine masculine within myself like I find myself leaning towards the feminine, this feeling of feminine rising, yet knowing how to bring in balance from the relationship with the masculine. Beloved, what if you could look upon the masculine and not see a wound? <laughs> This is the context that we are attempting to set for you. If you can zoom out and say the masculine was never wounded, there is no need for the feminine to come in and save this wounded masculine. The masculine was never wounded in the first place. It is rhetoric that has fed a story that you have wanted to and needed to believe given your experience of your incarnation. So we are asking you beloveds to look upon this and say, there is nothing that is wounded. There is no one that is broken. There is not a need for anyone or anything to be saved. There is a much greater and grander vision. And that is what we are attempting to bring your consciousness to. No one is wounded. No one is broken. There is nothing that is wrong. Everything is wholly perfect. In that context, beloved, the men and the women in your life will show up rather differently. You will have a much different sense of self when you can say, there's nothing that is wrong. We thank you, beloved ones. There is much to ponder. There is much to consider. And there is much to allow yourselves to remember. You go with our blessings always. Mm. We are with you, we bless you, and indeed we will speak with you again. Greetings and salutations, precious and beloved ones. <laughs>